If your shots look something like this, but you want them to be more like this, then all you need is a 1COB key light. A softbox and a light stand would be nice as well actually, but let's see a couple of options so you can get a light that fits you the best. Hi guys, my name is Tom Syriax and over the past couple of years I've tested many lights and I can tell you neither the cheapest nor the most expensive is the best. What you're looking for my friend is the one with the best value. First of all, each light is very different. They have different features and add-ons and you need to know exactly what you need. For example, some lights have carrying case like small rig and pixel HK so you can take them with you on a client shoot. Some have more power and some have less. Some have a remote control, some have an app and some lights don't have neither. They can only be controlled with knobs on the light itself. Some are big and heavy with big chargers, some are small and really compact. And some are only daylight, some are bicolor, some RGB. As you can see, there's just so many options to, for these lights to have. But not everyone needs a carrying case because the light will never leave their studio. Some never need all of that power of RGB capabilities. When you know what you need and most importantly, what you can live without, then you should pay very close attention to the following two things. Light's power and the build quality. I've reviewed almost all of these lights and I can say that, for example, Ambitful is not the best quality, but it is cheap. For example, this small one has a cracking ventilator, but this big one, although very powerful, I think could have you know, better heat dissipation. The ventilator turns on as soon as you put the light at 20%. And, and this light, I've used this pixel light the longest and I really like it. It has a lot of features and it's super powerful and the fan almost never turns on even at high power output. But as you can see in this example, I use it only at 8% and it's more than enough light for a scene like this. So if I were you, I would not just, you know, spend money on all of this power and then get such a powerful 220 watt light. I honestly think it's an overkill for most and even for me because I don't remember the last time I went over 40%. Probably it's a better idea to get something like a 120 watt light. This small rig 120D is a pretty good match. Um, in this example I'm at 15%. It does not have a remote control but does have an app with lots of features and you know it works flawlessly. Also it's super quiet and build quality seems very high. The only thing I'm not convinced of is this plastic lever, which I feel like could break if lots of power is applied, but so far so good. However, if you do not have a space to put a COB light like this small rig one with the softbox, and then you actually can get an LED panel light like this one from Pixel HK, it's called P80. And in fact, it's an RGB light, so you could potentially get any color and uh, the power output is decent, it's 60 watts. Here I'm with it set to 25% and I feel like it's plenty. The only downside of such LED panel lights is that the light on my face is quite harsh with lots of contrast and obviously not as soft as when using the softbox. But if your space is very limited, you know, this is one option that you could use and it's actually a great alternative. So, all in all, what do I recommend? I recommend the small rig 120D if space allows for it, because I think it's a perfect balance between the power, the, the features it has, the size, the build quality, and obviously the price. Check the current price down in the description along all of the links to these products and do let me know which light you use the most. And of course, also don't forget to keep on creating and I'll see you all in the next video very soon. Ata!